Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of analog technologies. With headquarters conveniently located in Silicon Valley, California, we've been engaged in electronics for more than 21 years now. Our headquarters are in California with two manufacturing plants in China to handle any of your needs. We have a number of different electronic work groups which can accommodate almost anything that you might need. This is Analog Technologies. Give us a try. Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. My name is Dennis Murphy and I'm one of the engineers at the Analog Technology Company. And I'd like to introduce you to a brand new product that just came across my desk. The ATAS-80 Automatic Soldering Unit. This is a great new machine. I do a lot of intricate soldering in my development programs and I'm pretty particular about my soldering iron. And this new ATAS-80 soldering unit, I'm totally and completely pleased with. So let me introduce it to you and see if it can help you too. The ATAS-80 auto iron is simply the best soldering iron I've ever used from the nice folks at the Analog Technology Company. has a nice big display. As you can see, the buttons are very simple and very mm, to the point, let's call it. The power cord is a standard, what you would call computer cord. It has the same exact plug. So if you ever mess up this particular plug, you always got another one laying around someplace or other. It just slips in the back there. comes with a grounding cord, kind of interesting. You don't want to have static electricity running around your electronics. You'll certainly burn stuff out. One end of the drown grounding cord goes into the unit itself and the other one goes into the stand that you put the iron into. And then you clip onto your work that you're working on. Very convenient. And one of the things that I really like is the way that the iron itself goes together into the unit. You do have to actually look at the plug because there's a little indent that has to be lined up correctly. And it's got a little clip on it so it stays in place. It won't fall out on you. Looking at the tip itself, there's a whole bunch of different tips available. You can get exactly whatever shape and size you want. And there are four little prongs on the end of it with an alignment prong in addition. You have to make sure to figure out where that alignment needs to be put. And as you put it in, be a little bit, uh, little bit gentle with it. Those little short prongs are relatively easily damaged. Once you get it into place, you simply put the locking nut on on top. And you're ready to go just like that. I really like this iron holder. It's got a built-in area for a sponge and it's heavy. I know sometimes I don't pay very close attention when I shove my iron back into the holder and I have been known more than once to knock it over. And as you can see this is a good solid little holder. I like it. The on-off button, easy. Right there in front. All in all this is a wonderful unit. Buttons are easy to the point. Don't have to worry about learning too much. It is a soldering iron after all. This unit comes with a complete set of instructions telling you not only how to put it together but also how to get the highest return for your investment. It even goes as far as to talk about all the different kind of heads that you can get, the temperatures that are recommended that you use for different soldering projects. Basically whatever you want to do this can do it for you. Talking about the different heads for me personally I do a lot of different kinds of work so I have purchased four of the different heads and they're really easy to slip from one to the other. They heat up fast, they heat up evenly and they do a really good job. And getting back to that question of those pins inside, you notice the, the tip on the left, you can see the lineup pin on it. 
and it's got to be put in correctly or it won't work. Just make sure you put them in right. The ATAS 80 automatic soldering iron is a first class act. I personally use it. With all the different heads available, I can do just about anything. And the non tip over base, I love it. So have a look at the ATAS 80 automatic soldering iron. I think you'll be happy with it.